Okay, now we are recording. Uh, starting back up at the top, I think it had a release. GoFS did not have a patch release. Uh, but we can get to that this week. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, apparently, there may or may not have been a JSFS release in the pipeline, but I'm not seeing one. Um, ah, so we had an RC4 of uh, 0 0.38. Uh, and RC5, actually, uh, but we did not ship the release. Uh, upgrading and testing uh, intro process. Uh, David has joined the team uh, to try to help accelerate that. Uh, yeah, there's a fairly good chance we'll end up meeting up synchronously sometime to like hammer it out and try to make it happen because it's blocking releases. Uh, other than that, I don't have any explicit updates. Uh, garbage collection and pinning. I guess we don't have right here. Alex is probably still stuck on the weekly call. Okay. Uh, and I assume he's still working on uh, the async weight factor. So probably no updates. Uh, Label uh, is at the browser meetup. Jacob. For which one is this for? Signaling. Signaling. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is still on hold while we're uh, finishing up the lip to beat async refactor. Okay. Uh, Aiden, uh, Dean is out for uh, the um, ICN conference and has several PRs for me to review. Um, Multi-hash keys in block store, any updates here? I don't think so. Uh, package manager updates. Uh, I don't know of any uh, explicit things that have emerged or I know that uh, there is a new bit swap patch, uh, or sorry, proposal uh, for uh, block order. So if anyone's interested in bit swap sign, um, paste that in here, or response ordering. Uh, yep, and work continues on not support. Um, let's see. Well, actually, I guess that is a bit swap update, so we might as well move that down there. Uh, Dirk, do you have any other bit swap updates? Nothing more than that, no. Okay. If I can make this happen. Okay. Um, ASIC await refactor. Someone is typing furiously. Yes. Um, yeah, so we went and did a slew of updates to some of the modules that we released um, as we've been working through the new dialer async flow. Um, so those have most of those have been released. We should get the connection stuff released uh, hopefully today or tomorrow, and then we will uh, finish up with a, one bug that we have with a multi-stream select, um, the upgrade process. Uh, but other than that, I think we are. Um, almost done with the dialer flow, and then we'll be able to, to start moving on. We've also started working on refactors of the other transports. Uh, so. Speaking of speaking of this, Pedro, are you working on a sick wait? Sorry, yeah. I am currently tackling uh, an issue from the interop test, um, and the issue is number 86. Um, but I defined a, a work plan to go through this issue and I, I wrote it down on my notes or my updates and I divided it into four phases, um, update IPFS, uh, IPFS DCTL to its latest version and then update make sure, and make sure that all the tests uh, are green. Um, so. Not every test are currently green. I'm missing just two test suites, um, but I'm missing the three or two next next phases that that are um, all the tests must use a, a daemon.js util file 
and they are not using that file. I, I'm also updating uh, the tests to use that file. Um, and then I will update all the tests to use a single weight, all the tests itself. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, design for your proposals. We had a design review last week. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Molly. Well, I just noticed we have an Alex now, in case there are any related updates. Uh, well, I've been um, uh, trying to convert uh, like to async await stuff for JS IBFS itself. So that's upgrading uh, libp2p, the RPFS repo, the HTTP, uh, sorry, the UNXFS uh, importer and exporter um, so that we can then pull in the latest versions of these things and then start implementing UNXFS 1.5. Um, almost got test passing, which is super cool, but like, I've just been in dependency hell for days um, because some things in libp2p depend on peer ID 0.13, others depend on 0.12, and there the twain shall meet. So you try and get, you try and dial with a, 13, a 0.13 peer ID, and libp2p goes, I don't know what that is, um, which is super tedious. So it's been a case of trying to find which libraries have upgraded to 13 and then downgrade them to 12 um, so that when the next version of libp2p comes along which presumably will have 13 we can then upgrade everything in one go um, so that's been very very tedious uh, but yeah i'm nearing the end of that process which is quite nice okay uh design review proposals um we had a design review for unix 4.5 and we came to a decision we we're going to be putting metadata um, in the directory itself and I'm still the DR to actually write that up, uh, but that unblocks package manager work. Uh, we still had a remaining question of like, which bits do we actually need in the mode? Which bits do we not need in the mode? Uh, uh, but I'm gonna have a meeting with Andrew later this week to like flush that out. Uh, there's, like, there's a chance we're just gonna glue the entire mode and just leave it at that, uh, but we had some concerns around like future proofing. Uh, blockers and asks, they're none listed. Any live blockers or asks? Um, uh, I like question. Oh, I was going to poke Alex about release related things as well. Go ahead, Alex. I was just going to say, um, Dirk, could you, uh, there's a PR that you opened on JS BitSwap to do the async await migration. Uh, there was awaiting some other things to be done and they're all done. Um, so I brought it up to date. Right, rebased it, finished it, all the tests are passing, but I can't ask you for a review because you opened the PR. Okay. So, yeah, no worries, I'll review. Thank you. In terms of the, the JS release, actually, um, so it's in the community testing phase, but no one, the, the, you know, the community is still very slim. Uh, and I opened issues on a whole bunch of repos saying, hey, why don't you join the community testing? Like, come and help us. And they've all like most of them have been ignored, and the ones that haven't been ignored, people have just been like, "Wow, oh, this is really cool! I don't have the time to do this." Um, so great. Uh, so I was probably just gonna do the release uh, at some point. Either like, I really want to get this async await stuff finished. Um, so if that's done tomorrow, I'll do the release tomorrow. Uh, if not, maybe the beginning of next week. I don't want to do it at the end of the week because then you know obviously that just ruins your weekend. I'm just curious, kind of looking into um, into Q4, kind of where where we'd put ourselves on the completion bar. Like I remember staring at the the uh, awesome endeavor or oh, whatever we call it, um, where it's like 74 percent of of all of the repos have either an open PR or have been updated to async await, if I remember correctly, something along those lines. Um, but kind of after after this slew of things, um, where 